In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through the SD card setup, which includes checking the disk name, unmounting the disk, and mounting the disk image. The first step in the process is to open Safari. Once Safari is opened, log on to raspberrypi.org and go to the download section. The download section contains a number of operating systems for you to download, but the one that we're going to be using today is Raspbian Wheezy, which is at the top. Click on Direct Download, and that will begin to download into the Downloads folder. It's a relatively large file and normally takes around five minutes to download. I recommend that you leave the file in the Downloads folder, the reasons for which will become clearer later in the tutorial. So to clarify, step one is to log on to www.raspberrypi.org and download Raspbian Wheezy. Once Raspbian has finished downloading into the Downloads folder, the next stage is to open Terminal. So first of all, let's close these windows and the web browser. And then if we go to Launchpad and look in the Other folder, in here is Terminal, which is this icon just here. Click to open that. And this is the program we'll use to type our commands into. And so to recap, step two is wait for Weezy to download an open terminal from the launch pad. And once you've done that, it's on to step three. Step three is where we need to ascertain the disk name. So the first thing I need you to do is type in df space minus h, and then hit enter. And this will show all the disks found within your computer. So the top one there is the hard drive. And then what we need to do is to find out what disk your SD card is. So if you insert the SD card into your computer and type in the df space minus h command again, then we get this one added on, which is the dev disk one. That shows the capacity and that it's full, etc. So once we've ascertained that disk name, that's what we'll now use in the command line for the next steps. So, step three is to run the df-h command, insert the SD card, and run the df-h command again to ascertain the disk name. So we've got the disk name, and here we can see the SD card, and that's present on the desktop, which means that the computer's reading it. So then what we need to do is unmount that disk. So we type in disk util unmount, and then the disk name which in my case is forward slash dev forward slash disk 1s1. Now that might be slightly different on your computer, however, it will be in the same place. So just copy that line of command in after the disk util unmount command. Then if we hit enter, you can see it unmounts the disk in the top right there. And so, step four. Once the disk name is ascertained, run the disk util unmount forward slash dev forward slash whatever your disk name is. Then what we need to do is mount the image onto the SD card. So if we open the downloads folder and then go to the image itself and right click, go down to get info in the drop down menu. And this shows the information on the image. So if we drag that over, so this here, where it says name and extension, is the information that we actually need for the command line. Then, if we go back over to the terminal, we need to type the following command, which is dd space bs equals 1m if equals the tiled key. Now, the tiled key is in the bottom left of your keyboard and looks like this. Forward slash downloads forward slash. You then type in the image name that was found in the get info window in the name and extension. Now, this will obviously change as they update the OS. But then after that, after the dot IMG, we do space of equals forward slash dev forward slash and then here we take the disk name which was disk1s1 
and then we take the S1 off the end and put an R at the beginning of the disk name. So then it becomes R disk 1. Then from here, we hit enter. And in some cases, it may say permission denied. Now, not to panic, all we do is type in sudo, which is added to the beginning of that command that you've just typed. So if you type sudo, sudo, and then spacebar, and then what we want to do is if you click the left mouse button and drag across and highlight this whole command here, right click, then go down to copy in the drop down menu, then if we right click after the space and go to paste, this will copy that command into that line. So what we've done is we've copied the command with a sudo at the beginning. Then when we hit enter, it will ask for our password, which is your admin password or whatever password you use to log into the computer. Now that will override and then write the image onto the disk. Now the important thing to remember is this won't be instantaneous. You're working with SD cards. So it's in the same way as if you drag photos onto an SD card, it takes time. So in my case, I think it took around four or five minutes. So the key thing is to be patient. You know, don't think it's crashed and close the window down. But then when it's completed, you'll get this drop down, which shows you how many bits have gone in and what's been written to the card. And then if you want to check that it's gone across to the card, if you go up to the card on your desktop and open it up, then you'll see contained on the SD card is all the information of the OS. And so, just to run through that, step five is type the DD space BS equals space 1M space if equals tiled, which was the key that I, I told you was in the bottom left of the keyboard, forward stroke, downloads, forward stroke, whatever your file name is, forward stroke, R, and then whatever your disk name is, minus the S1 at the end. Then if that's unsuccessful, redo the command using copy and paste with sudo at the beginning. Then once that's done, we're ready to go. I'm going to show you how to set up the hardware itself in a later tutorial, but everything is now in place for us to start going with Raspberry Pi.